Kathy Zilski, welcome back to my channel and my studio and to my weekly live stream, Kathy Makes a Card. What did you think of the new opening? I just, I was playing around with it a little bit last week and uh, it's just, it's fun to try to do different things. And so I actually made the countdown longer because I love the song. You know, it's it just, it, yeah. So if you are joining me today, I am live here in my studio in the center of central lower Minnesota. That's where I am, where it's warm at 34 degrees. And I am well. would like to welcome you while I'm feeling rather tongue-tied. Um, I got a new shirt, <laughs> so that's exciting. Uh, yeah, anyway, thank you so much. And uh, the music that I use is it linked in the description. Well, the, the artist is named. I subscribe to a service called artlist.io and they have many things to choose from including one thing that I haven't made yet. I want to do, I want to design like a be right back sign with like elevator music so that if I ever have to go to the bathroom, which is just right over my shoulder, I can throw that up and run in a panic. That's what we're doing. Okay, so welcome everyone. Again, I am live and so I never know if a card's gonna turn out. Sometimes I do a little prep work. Today I have, but I haven't pre-designed anything and I was thinking about this last night and I thought to myself, I have an idea and I, I'm gonna pursue it. it. Again, it might not work. That said, during the live stream, I don't have I don't have a person behind me or, I mean, I have my moderators. Let me first point out, Beth and Emma, they can answer questions for you sometimes in the chat. And so if I don't answer, they know a lot of things because they're very smart women. If you have something that is for me that I miss, you can always send me an email at any time at kathy at kathyzilski.com. I check that email all the time. I answer questions and there you go. Um, I would like to say this is velvet. <laughs> it's supposed to go down in your shoulders. And yes, that means I don't have a bra on, but you're not seeing south of the south of the Andes. Do you know what I'm saying? So we're staying north. Okay, <laughs> so there we go. Uh, J. Jill on sale. I just, I looked for a shirt that was similar to one I had because I like how this flows over the ample parts of my womanly physique. And uh, yeah, I, you know, so I ordered it on sale. There you go. I'm not known for fashion. Let's go. All right, let's go down to the table. And we're going to talk about what we are doing today. Now, now we shall see. Here's the vision, here's the vision. I have this die, it is called Simple Hello. And I don't think I've used this yet. Um, and I wanted to use this because I designed this for Simus' stamp. It's actually a pretty big size, right? It fits in the palm of my human-sized hand. And um, Anna, 
I haven't used it. I don't think so. I've seen other people use it. And I, I saw some people using it with florals. And I thought to myself, what if I made a black and white floral card? You know what I mean? Like just something kind of funky and different and I don't know. So that's what, that's what I'm going to try today. I have pre-cut using this set. Now, I want to tell you, this is called Plentiful Petals. I have a die set I want to show you. And I can't remember the name of it. And I promise I will add this. I did a video uh, with a card that said Chin Up. And I did this for Simon Says Stamp for Easy with CZ. Now, the only thing about this set is it's really, really big. And part of what I was trying to do is figure out how to work with a big die set. But for this, I'm like, you know what? Let's, let's put the big die set aside and let's just use something small. So that's what I did. It's very small, right? This is a little set. Kind of cut all these things out this morning. Haven't pre-figured out anything, but I do know this. Step one, I'm gonna start with a note card because I had an idea and I thought, what if, what if, let's move you aside. What if we did a little gold, little gold spatter on our note card? I'm, I don't think I'm gonna do layers on this because check it out, the hello is big. So I need to use the whole you know, thing like that, okay? And yeah, here's the other thing about being live. I love doing this. I used to get nervous. And honestly, I don't think I do anymore because this is fun. This is a chance for me to craft with people who actually get it. You know, I don't have any, uh, I, it, I think it is called Aurora Blooms. Yes, thank you, Jen. The large, the large set is called Aurora, Aurora Blooms. Thank you so much. Um, I don't get a chance to talk about this kind of stuff with a lot of people because I don't, you know, I don't, my, my close friends outside of the craft industry don't craft. So yeah, what used to be getting nervous is now like, I don't, I don't even sweat anymore. And that's, that's something. Okay. I want to give this a press with, eh, we're running out of space already. Okay. With my Teflon bone folder. And we're going to spatter. Now I hope, <laughs> I hope that I don't, uh, I hope I don't hit my new monitor. I, I have this little like cover thing, but it's just too laborious to pull it out. If I get a little gold spatter on my fancy new uh, monitor, I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. Right, Vicki Donnelly? I'm going to be fine out there. So let's tape it closed. And let's start with, uh, not that, let's start with a little spatter. Now, if you are wondering, uh, if you're new to my channel or whatever, I always tape my card bases closed because I'm just a crafter who, if I don't see it flat, like if it's popping up, I am never going to be able to get things lined up. You know what I'm saying? So there we go. Uh, again, welcome everyone. Oh my goodness. There's over 500 people here and I just started. Now I'm going to start sweating bullets. No, I'm not going to sweat. Okay, maybe a little. I'm going to grab my box. Now, of course, you know, you can use a shoe box. I went and bought, uh, is there, yeah, there is a thing on it. I bought this a while ago, the splat box, because yeah, I just, again, I don't really have a lot in the clothing department. So my craft supplies, um, they're my clothes. <laughs> and oftentimes I end up wearing things on my clothes, but here's what we'll do. Now, a couple things. I, I have a bunch of these inexpensive uh, Zen Royal and Langnickel brushes. I learned about these a couple years back from my friend Christina Warner. And I, I was really all in on the fan brush for a while. However, lately I've been all in on the number two Zen round brush. Why? It's just, it's a nice little brush for uh, doing spatter or splatter. Whatever you want to call it, I don't care. I love you all. You want to call it you want to call it splatter? Go for it. But this stuff I absolutely love. This is from Brutus Monroe. And while I'm splattering, I know Christopher is probably not watching, but I just want to send a lot of love out to my friend Christopher, who has is going through a tremendous loss right now. Christopher, I love you. All right, let's pick it up. So we just take it off the block. 
like this. Okay. And I'm not going to go real wild with it. I'm just going to tap a little off here and just do a little. This is just to start because I know that this card, oh, that, that, that went on kind of funny, uh, is going to be very minimal. So we're just doing that and that's it. I just want a little bit of shine um, and the stuff that I'm spattering on, I remembered to bring a rinse thing. This is called uh, aqua, aqua ah, Skilled. Uh, this is called all over my counter aqua pigment in gilded. Fabulous, fabulous stuff. This is one of my favorite little uh, discoveries of last year. And uh, I have it in silver too. It's great stuff. All right, I'm just gonna wipe that off with the tissue. And that's that. I'm gonna set this aside, okay? Now, today I tried to reconfigure my die cut cam. Turns out my new monitor doesn't work with the cable, so I ordered another cable. So maybe next week we'll get it back. But I am going to be cutting today with, I'm just gonna use my electric die cut machine today. And I wanna cut out a hello out of gold. So I'm going to take this and this is the Simon Says Stamp Matte Gold. This is actually the center uh, from another card that I just did and you tell me to save centers. I listen. I listen. And so I saved the center because look at that center is perfectly centered here. And all right, so I'm going to run this through. And right now it's over here and someday I'll have the camera hooked back up. But for now, we'll just go like this. All right. Alrighty. And actually I'm gonna move my little jar over here so that I don't send it flying. Cause let me tell you, that wouldn't be the first time. Okay. All right, let's pick it up. The Empress machine that I'm using is just the original size. Um, and I had a question here from Gracelyn. I'll try to pop up questions as I am able. Yeah, I just have the regular, the big, the main sized one. I guess I could have, oh, there's nothing in there. <laughs> oh, Kathy. Um, I know there are other sizes, but I kind of figured, you know, I have limited space here in my creative studio slash craft room. And so one is good and you'll get to see it again when I rehook up my new, uh, my new little uh, die cut cam. I just missed the die cut cam. So I'm gonna bring it back, Br bringing it back. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Charlene. I know it's gonna be fine. We're just, we're gonna do this. We're gonna poke out these friends. Well, I guess I probably didn't need to, there we go. I love the pokey pad because it lets you put some force through if you need to. And there you go. We have a pretty gold hello, okay? All right, uh, yes, thank you, Emma. Uh, as Emma points out, um, I'm gonna pop this up. Oh, there you go. Uh, yes, if you're shopping and you use my links, you directly support my channel and my business. So thank you in advance. Okay, I do link everything in the description, but for lives, quite often, I for, I don't do the update of what I use until after the fact. All right. Um, oh, Misty, you have a good question here. You know, I may even dig some out today. I have a ton of sentiment strips that are really basic and really simple. And uh, yeah, if I have any good ones, I will definitely link them. And let me see here. I am going to show you this because I did it off camera. So I took two layers of Nina Classic Crest Solar White 110 pound because I wanted to have a little depth and dimension. So let's get out my glue and I'm gonna grab something. I like to do this on my cheap pink paper because I'm not great. I'm, I'm trying to migrate away from using liquid adhesive. And, uh, and so I've been doing more liquid glue and unfortunately I, I get a little heavy handed and sometimes it oozes. Um, and I actually saw a question, oh, hey Dana, that uh, Simatok was asking, I don't have a store, but I will have all the links to the stores 
that I use. And yeah, I'm <laughs> sounding like a robot. Okay. Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay, here we go. I'm going to add my liquid glue. This is Connect Glue from Gina K. And this is where I, I try, once I get into the groove here, I can do little tiny beads. It just takes a second. And someone actually asked me in an email um, why I'm not using the precision glue press because I used it for a couple videos. The main reason is everybody has different things, right? Wrist issues. My wrists do not like the motion like that. Um, I have old designer wrists and let me tell you, I'm grateful. <laughs> I'm grateful for the mobility that I have, but from years of being a graphic designer, it takes a toll from all the pointing and clicking I've done in my lifetime. And so this little bottle is just a better fit for me um, than the precision glue press. But it's a the glue press is great. It just it just wasn't a good squeeze motion for my my particular issues. And my issues, they're not like it's not like I have carpal tunnel. I don't. I just have bad, bad issues. Um wrist issues that I have to be mindful of. And no, Melody, I'm, I'm, I'm moving more into, I'm moving away from spray glue as much as I can. Okay, all right, here we go. I'm gonna drop it down and then we can wiggle it into place so that we have this very delicate, come on now, I gotta wiggle. I'm kind of still bad at lining these up, I tell ya. But that's why it's a little nicer to do stacked die cuts with a liquid adhesive because then if you are like if you're like me and you struggle sometimes with getting them lined up because I do I love the look when it's perfectly lined up you know it's it's cool then it looks like oh like an old chipboard embellishment from the days of scrapbooking right liquid glue is great for that now here's another thing um, you probably see people use pen blades, these little guys. I've literally had this one. No, I bought a new set. One of them in here I've had for many, many years. Like they came out when I was still scrapbooking before I was card making. They are also great if you have any glue that is seeping out that you wanna get off, you can just drag, well, don't do that. Just drag it and then you can wipe it on a towel. Um, which is what I tend to do. I, believe me, I'm more careful than you would think. <laughs> you should have seen me with X-Acto knives. Boy, that was a whole different thing. Okay, there's my hello. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna do a shadow layer on this. I'm really not sure if I want to. However, for the sake of argument, let's bring some things over because this is where I, I want to do something and you know, I'm not great with floral arranging. I've said that before, and it's only it's only a confidence uh, level, right? But maybe today, and we're gonna see, what I want to do is I wanna have some kind of arrangement, and you know what? I think I am gonna need a shadow layer with what I'm thinking. So let me grab another piece of white or black. Wait, let's see here. All right, we got some options. All right. I'm going to bring one white and I'm going to bring one uh, black panel too. All right. I have, I have these little bins, right? And in one of them, it's mostly just white papers and uh, glitter scraps or pretty scraps. And in the other one, it's all color because I just changed my mind and realized I might need a shadow layer. All right. So that's what we're doing. Vellum could be nice too. I literally just did something that I can't wait to show you next week with the vellum. Uh, and uh, well, you're gonna have to wait for that one. All right, let's run this through. Part of what I think this card is gonna be, um, I, I, was e I was either thinking it was gonna be really elegant or mildly goth, cause I can't, I can't not see black flowers and just picture you know, me in college wanting to be a goth kid. Well, wanting to be. I was a goth kid. <laughs> Kidding. It only lasted about six months. My poor mother. My poor mother. Oh, bless her heart. But you know, I learned something from those, those times. And I'll tell you what that is. You got to let people look how they want to look. 
because what what why not what what does it hurt you mother if uh if somebody decides they like uh they like to dye their hair jet black and wear white face makeup what does that how does that harm society well i argue that it doesn't at all and uh well that's my story i don't think my mother has ever gotten over it but you know she does her best <laughs> okay true story when i um when i had my kids and i still have them i'm very grateful for my family um, I remember when Coleman, my son, was little and he got a mohawk and that was oh, probably the craziest haircut he ever had. I was so proud. He was four. It was his choice. It was his choice. Okay. Now, the reason I wanted to see this, I still may go with white because I think in arranging flowers, it could be nice to have this is elevated a little so that I can clearly lay things in and make floral arrangements behind it so okay brought something in <laughs> brought something in here and uh yeah um I, I only have a few pictures from my goth era I wish I wish I had taken more pictures that's all I can say um I'll try to remember <laughs> to post one I'll try to remember Emma Beth I have a picture in my closet it is so fabulous um, some photographer took it of me and my friend Tristan, not his real name, uh, walking the streets of Seattle, Washington when I was 18 years old. And it is, it's the only proof of life that I have. So, okay, <laughs> here we go. This stuff. How do, how many of you know micro pour tape? When I first started making cards, I was using it all the time, right? All the time. And uh, we're going to work it in today. And yes, there are two dies uh, for this little Little, little thing. And again, I'm not going to glue it down yet because I'm not sure what I'm doing. But what I want to do is I want to pull some of these things and think about a potential arrangement and some potential flower combinations. So the whole idea of the black and white, I think is really cool. And maybe what we'll do is we're going to pull some of these things here. We're going to get some of the centers. And the reason I have the micro pour tape, now this could get a little tedious, but is because, oh, you know it would be better, let's do this, is because I want to see if I can manage a way to make something shiny and pretty and this is where the micro tape comes in. Now, I don't know, I don't know how exciting this is gonna be, but uh, there you go. <laughs> I'm just reading uh, a comment about regretting tattoos. I, 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 got, a, I got a tattoo. <laughs> And it's a, it's a joke in our family because um, it, it really just looks like someone took a ballpoint pen and drew a dot on me. I uh, I had a friend of mine, my friend Billy, make it do an uh, India ink tattoo on my foot because that was about as hardcore as I was gonna go. And uh, yeah, it didn't it didn't last very long. So uh, there you go. Here's. Here's, and I always like to tell my kids, you know, I have a tattoo and if you, you can get one if you want, I don't care, but it's really, it doesn't even look like anything. Okay, I'm gonna take one of these centers and try to figure out, how does this go in? I, I know I can do it if I just, let's go that way now. Um, I want to fill some of these in. Now, the reason I put that there, let me, let's see, does it go like that? Yes, is because then, this will stick nicely, okay? That's that's the only reason. So we're doing that. We're just gonna mix and match some of these so that I can have some flowers. Very tedious, right? It's, uh, but I love this stuff because it's so baby fine that it's just enough to hold, well, I think it'll hold your stitches in place and it can hold some of your little die pieces, right? Very, very simple. Now, let's see, I'm gonna switch it up. So, there we go, right, Dana? I'm so smart. It just, it kind of boggles my mind sometimes, but is that the right one for the center? No, I need to find a bigger one. And maybe that was the only one I, is it this one? Oh boy, yep, not that one. We're, 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 we might be missing some pieces, hold on. Nope, not you. Not you. Okay. I feel like it's that one there. All right, let's 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 see. Nope, it's too small. 
All right, stay with me, friends. I promise we're gonna, <laughs> well, that just looks dumb. <laughs> we're gonna get it. See, I didn't know if that would be the one, but maybe what I need is, let me grab my friend again. Oh yeah, I need the bigger one. And I seem to have misplaced it unless you are all looking at it and I'm not seeing it. I don't know where that one went. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna cut this center out real quick because I need one for, yep, the bigger one, okay. I could have my little die cut machine out too, like my little Tim Holtz one, because that die will go through um, the Tim Holtz crank one, the little, uh, what is it called, the sidekick? Look at all that tattoo co commentary. I, I do, I love, I love people who have beautiful tattoos. Um, my husband does not have any either. He's, uh, well, he's not anti, no, he's kind of anti-tattoo. He's kind of old school. He doesn't think people should get tattoos on their bodies. And I'm like, well, I disagree. I don't know about that. I, I think they're fun. And again, it's your body. So you know what? I mean, do you remember that sketch? Oh gosh, I, I got that in the wrong place again. About uh, Saturday Night Live and Amy Poehler had gotten a tattoo, um, you know, on her lower back <laughs> that said something like juicy. And I think they showed what it would look like years later. Gosh, I love that so much. Um, it just looked kind of sad and melty. Okay, I still need, I think, I want to do also a white one in here. There you are. There you are. No, that's the gold. There's the gold one that I was missing. You know what? I'm going to put that one in here. There you go. Okay. All right. There we go. Uh so, how many of you have patience for things like this, where you just start piecing and placing things down? I was worried when I started this. I'm like, what if this video is just way too short? <laughs> oh, Kathy, not too short at all. Okay, there we go. Get in there, get in. Oh. And place. So now you can start to see how these come together by having little centers like that. Isn't that cute? I have leafery. I have gold leaves. I have more white if I need them. And I also thought it would be fun to mix in a few more. So let's go with black. Just making some flowers. Yeah, making some flowers. Of course you could do this like with many beautiful colors. And I did think about doing like a nice, by the way, these are great for things that are sticky. I really do like those scissors from Simon Says Stamp. They're very nice. All right, we're gonna go like you. But here I gotta be a little more careful just so that doesn't stick out. Pick you up, look for the angle and center you in like that. All right. Patience and time. Yeah, you know, sometimes you have more and sometimes you have less. Now this friend, I think, I just wanna do, like I could take one of these and maybe do a smaller one and glue that on like that. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm gonna pick these back up because I'm gonna need those. I'm just creating some things that I can arrange. That's it. And I thought, well, this might be elegant or it could be a nice hot mess. Uh, yeah, Dana, it's it's so simple, right? It's not, I think it, it kind of falls into the category of monochromatic designs. And you know, if you are, let's say you're a newer card maker and color overwhelms you. Well, it overwhelms me too. And I've been working as a graphic design, that didn't work at all. And I've been working as a designer for 30 years. That's been like my professional field and I've always, always felt overwhelmed by color. And so uh, that's why I'm so drawn to monochromatic uh, designs because it's harder to mess up. Actually, I actually think that looks kind of funky. I don't know if you're supposed to do it, but we're gonna also put maybe one white thing there. All right. Yeah, monochromatics or metallics, you know, those are things that are a little hard to mess up. Oh, there you go, all right. And let's just go like that. Again, am I gonna use this one? I don't know yet, but I do think it's cute. 
All right. You know, you know what that reminds me of? How many of you have seen the Portlandia where is it somebody gets a really bad Eddie Vedder tattoo? Like, what's her name? She's dating someone who has a really bad Eddie Vedder tattoo. And then they meet Eddie Vedder and he has a really bad, oh, who is it? Is it Ani DeFranco? He has an Ani DeFranco tattoo and it's terrible. It's the real Eddie Vedder. Oh, I'm an 80s kid. Okay. Um, all right. This is looking good. These are looking good. Now let's bring in a little more and just mix a few. Again, I'm not sure how many of these I'm actually going to end up using, but I always like to say better to be uh, have more than you need than not. Okay. All right. Oh, that's cool. I should look that up because I, 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 I know she has a channel, Natasha Foot, and I should check that out because I, I don't have a lot. Well, that isn't, I don't have a lot of time on YouTube to watch a lot of other channels. Another thing, I mean, I watch my friend Gina every week because she's just my little respite of joy. I love watching Gina create and, um, and same thing with my friend Jennifer McGuire, if she's made a video. I, you know, I try to watch my friend's videos. Mindy out there, I, Mindy just did a really cute card with, well, maybe not just, but a few days back with one of my stamp sets, and that's always really fun to see. But uh, one of the things I've been trying to do lately is just, you know, just focus on you and don't watch what other people are doing. Because, you know, you never want to, you never want to do something that someone else is, we all have, we're all recycling ideas, put it that way. Uh, although some people are pretty clever. Uh, I watched a video this week from Yana Smakula, and she did something so freaking cool with uh, a stencil mask, like an A2 layer mask. She, um, oh no, I want to do this one. She... I gotta cut it, it's a little long. She used it to ink blend a geometric pattern. It is the coolest video. I shared it on my Facebook page for my business page. And I was just like, that's someone who comes up with things that I don't know. Like when you look at a product in a new way, I think that's really amazing. Okay, I'm gonna take this for the center. Okay, I just saw. Cindy Beaver, Cindy, you haven't missed anything. I'm literally just making things. I'm making things and we'll see. I feel like I have enough things to start, but I may want to do uh, one more of that. Let's get a big friend up. I'm just making flowers, just making flowers. There we go. Um, but yeah, sometimes I think as a content creator, it's fun to see what other people are doing, but you know, it's important just to say, hey, what do I want to do today? I, and you know, how can I, how can I do what I do best, which is try things out that may or may not work. Usually they do, but not always. So if you're new to my channel and you're, you've stumbled upon here and you're like, what is she doing? Yeah, she's doing just what she always does. <laughs> Likes to talk about herself in the third person and, uh, we're going to see if we can find one more center. There we go. I think it is fun. That's one of the things um, that's cool when there's a new product release out. What my friend Dana says, it's really cool to see what different designers do with things because um, the video that I'm mentioning from Yana, she used an old stamp set of mine that I have not used in years and did something just like, how did you think of that? That's so, so clever. And I love that. But then again, you know, we can't always be clever all the time, but some people can, and it's pretty amazing. Okay. I have things now that I think are ready. I may want to do one more of those because I think that's cool. Um, but let's see, because I want to have some repetition. And now we're going to move all these up, hopefully. Let's bring our card in. And I think what I will do, should I show you what it looks like on black? Let's take a look on black before we put anything down. The black certainly is gonna show up more. Now, of course, I haven't figured out any other things yet. We have black, okay? And then we have white. Now, I will put foam squares on the back 
to give this a little dimension. So this will be elevated too with a shadow. I'm curious to know, but before I even put anything in, what would look what would look better here? Hmm. 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 We see people liking the black. I mean, the black is pretty cool um, because it definitely has a, a punch to it. So let me grab one thing. Ouch. <laughs> Don't know what that was. Okay. All right. I think, you know what? I think I'm just going to do it on black. I've seen enough people say black. So let's add some adhesive here. Oh my goodness. May I take a quick sip of my coffee. Oh, I love when I still have coffee after, what time is it? 1230. Mmm. Mmm. Never gets old. Okay. Well, except for when it's old. I think you know what I mean. Okay. People are overwhelmingly liking the black. And so I think that's good too. So we're just going to do our tiny dots. Oh, not that wasn't so tiny. Now I do want to be a little more mindful with my dots here. Um, like that. All right, up we go. I might even just let this get a little tacky before I pop it right down, just so we don't get a lot of squish out. Okay. Or even just dragging it like that. I always forget about that. I don't have to just do dots. I can do little ribbons of adhesive with this. And this is just the right pressure. This never hurts my wrists. Yeah, it's good. Also, just a little tip for anyone using little squeeze bottles. You know, what I always do when I'm done like this, um, take a little tissue and I just, usually it'll be like a tissue that I've just used and I just wipe off the top, give it a little tap, let that glue drop back down and then I put my pin back in. I actually emailed the woman who sent this to me. Well, she didn't send it. Someone else sent it to me. Gosh, I want to say it was Carla Bostic, but um, this has worked so well for me. I can't believe it. I've never had a clog. It's been amazing, and I just wish that for everyone. Okay. Oh, Charlene, do people really get mad if you take a drink? Yeah, here's the thing. It's like I'm live. I'm not. I'm not a robot. I promise you, I am a live human, and sometimes live humans need coffee, right? We. We really do. All right, look at that. So that's nice. Now we have the ability to wiggle into place. Also, you can take your craft pick if you don't like the oozing. Now there's not a lot, but there's a little. So here's what I'm gonna, I like to scrape it away and just, well, where's that tissue? No, oh, now I can't find it. Here we go. Just take it away. If you have any oozes, that's another thing that I love about a craft pick. And I don't really have a lot. I mean, yes, it dries clear, so it's not really a big deal. But let's go like that for a second. All right. Okay, now let's see. We are going to move on. Uh, how's everyone doing out there? You guys doing good? Oh my gosh, 790 people? That is a lot. That's a lot of people. Now the sweat begins. All right. It's not beginning necessarily. Now this looks nice and whatever. This is nicely adhered. Let's add some foam squares. Now I'm going to use um, the slightly thicker depth because I think that is best for what I'm planning. And I'm gonna cut a few in half. I like to do this right on the sheet like that so that you have little babies. Speaking of, <laughs> Speaking of little babies, Frankie's here today. His mama dropped him off because she has a long day. And uh, I'm lucky. And she's traveling a ton in the first quarter of the year. That means I get Frankie love. And for those of you who don't know what Frankie love is, he's my grandkitty. And when he was a baby, he used to hang out here in the studio. He doesn't do that anymore. The only time he comes in here is to bite my bum <laughs> through my chair. He comes up behind me. Uh, when he wants dinner, and um, that's hilarious to me. I love him so much. Someday, someday I'm going to get cats. I promise. I don't know when, but it will happen. It will happen. And yes, I did say plural because I think having multiples. There's just so many. Uh, the rescue that Aiden got her cat from, Aiden's my daughter, 
They're just so fantastic. I just love them. They're called the bond between. And uh, you know, if it was good enough for Frankie, it's good enough for, for me. Okay. Hey, Megan, Andrew. How are you, friend? Okay, so see, we get a little dimension. We get a little shadow. Now, let us move this. I still feel like this is, po I need this to be flatter. I'm sorry, this is not working well enough. It's such thick cardstock. This needs to stay down, so hold on. I mean, cats are great, you know, and I, I, uh, but here's a story. Maybe you know this story or not. I've had two cats, sort of. Um, years ago, someone, uh, years ago, before Aiden or my son Cole were born, um, we live in an old house that had a front porch and someone uh, opened our front porch, our outside, you know, it was an old fashioned porch, put a kitten in the porch and left it. We found a little tiny kitten, black and white, a little tuxedo on our porch. We bring him in and at the time, now I'm going to start arranging, okay, let's see, let's see what happens. Um, at the time, we did not know uh, what we were going to do. Are we going to keep this cat or, you know, are we going to, what happens? Well, we had a dog at the time with a lot of emotional issues. His name was Reno. You know what? I may actually have to bring it down a little to do something like that. And the cat shows up and we're like, okay, I guess this is a sign. Oh, thank you, Cheryl, for the super chat. I really appreciate that. <laughs> thank you. Just saw that pop up. Um, and anyway, so this cat comes out of the blue. It's during the Winter Olympics when they were in Norway, in Oslo. So that 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 can time stamp it a little. And uh, I think I need gonna have something like this here. Anyway, oh look at that's already starting to look so pretty. Okay, maybe maybe I'm not gonna use all the things that I thought I was gonna use today. Anyway, I had never had a kitten before. I had no idea what I was getting into. And uh, it freaked, he freaked me out so much because he was a baby and I didn't know that kittens pounce on you and that I just was like, this is not a good time for us, even though the dog loved the cat, like loved the cat. So we found him a home and that little, that little guy, it was a boy. Yeah, it was a boy, um, got renamed Magpie and lived to be 22. Uh, it was he, we gave him to someone that my husband worked with, and Magpie literally passed away uh, just a handful of years ago. Had a very great life. That was cat number one. Then cat number two, same similar thing. One night in the middle of winter, um, I, I need to keep working because otherwise I'm, I'm. Yeah, let's move this up a bit. This is pretty, huh? Okay, <laughs> I got to I got to trim some of these off though. These are too long. So it's the middle of winter on our back porch. And again, this is when we still had, oh, this is when we had a different dog because our other dog died. Yeah, okay. Anyway, um, back porch, middle of winter, there's a kitten. A kitten outside on my deck staring at the house as if to say, please let me in, it's cold. And he was very little. So we brought him in and we just figured this is a sign for us that this should be our cat. I'm, I'm really struggling here, okay? And uh, we kept him. I don't know who, you know, decided that a kitten should be outside in the middle of winter, but he must have escaped. And we named him Emmett after Emmett Smith, the football player, because uh, Frankie was little, or Emmett was little and tough, much like Emmett Smith, the football player. And I was a big Cowboys fan at the time. Anywho. <laughs> Turns out, four months later, it's spring, and my neighbor walks by, and she says, she sees the cat, and she says, where did you get your cat? I'm like, he showed up on our porch in the middle of winter. She goes, that's my cat. So she said we could keep him. Anyway, he got sick and died, too. So that's my cat story. I don't know if a third time will be a charm, but okay. I feel like this is not working, but here's what I'm, I'm going to do. I think I'm gonna to have to commit to some placements, okay? This is what where I get so confused. You guys are watching and I'm like, okay. How many of you do this though? Like you start placing things down and you're like, I have no idea what is going to work best here, but I want to bring in, okay? I wanna bring in one of these at the bottom. It's time, it's time to stop the jibber jabber 
and see about getting the placement because this is this is what I want to do. I want some to be up top, I want some to be in the bottom, so I feel like this really does need to be here. And that will be closer and that will be closer. Okay. Then I'm gonna go back and kind of wedge in, well, you know what though? What about that? Okay, a little floral in here. I'm gonna to have to take a picture too because there's no way I'm gonna remember what I'm doing. And then, <laughs> thank you, Christine. Thank you for uh, for not clicking away because my stories are terrible. Um, I wanna have one down here too. Like I wanna, I wanna do something like that. Is that, is that good? Okay, that, I wanna, I wanna start layering some things in. So you know what I think I need to do? I think I need to place the hello because I am not going to, well, I could do the press and seal. Um, tiny flowers scattered around the white. Well, we'll get some, yes, okay. We'll get some of these guys going. There'll be little ones and, but I feel like to start, this needs to be placed first. I cannot do the um, imagine how it's going to look and then take a press and seal. Okay, so we're going to get the we're going to get the hello first and see how there's plenty of space for things to fit in here. I did that on purpose. Okay, so that way we have spatial little areas for tucking things under and for the things that uh, don't quite fit or stick out, I'll just trim those down. See, this is the time in a live stream where I'm like, uh, I'm starting to panic. No, I'm not panicking. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. So let's take that friend off. I'm going to take a little liquid glue uh, with that. Gold leaves, white leaves, put flower on top of sentiment. Leave small. Oh, well, you know, and that too. There can be room maybe for something to be on top. So we'll we'll play with it. But... This is gonna help me. I, I don't know if this would help you. I know there are people who, um, thank you, thank you Crimson Rose, because this is, this is the story of my life when it comes to flowers. Okay, but here's the thing. If I know this is in the center, that looks good, right? Oh, another super chat. Thank you, Joe. Thank you so much. I will, uh, I will be sure to get Frankie a special treat. He's a good boy. He is a good boy. All right, we're starting like this because here's the thing. I want to make sure that some of this, right, has a little of that. Oh, you know the other thing too? Check it out. You can cut some of the leaves because I feel like if I cut a leaf, that's already looking a little bit better, right? Isn't that cute? Okay. Okay, coming down here. How many other leaves do I have? Oh, I have more gold. Um, I feel, ooh, look at that. Now I almost feel like maybe down here we should cut the black as well. All right. How are, how are we doing out there? We're, we're losing people. They're dropping like flies. Okay, here we go. That is gonna come in here. And this is what I love about you know, being able to cut and trim these guys, because if you want it to go in a little further, oh, no one's gonna see it. You can just do that and then find your little place, like, like that. For now, we're gonna do that. I am going to cut off this guy too, a little haircut. Uh, the Debbie Ray, the word dies are from me, Kathy Z. They are from my collection. This is a, it's called Simple, is it called Simple Hello? I think it is. <laughs> and it's a, well, it's a Simple Hello. Okay, so if I did something like that, I actually like the balance on that. Then all I have to do is figure out a few flowers, right? And I could pop flowers up too. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue some of this in place because I actually like this and I know I'm gonna make it, it, it will work somehow. All right, let's do it. <laughs> we got about 10 minutes to finish. Ooh. Yes. See, here's the thing. Even though I don't feel like I'm great at arranging, okay, I keep trying. Because I, I like how it looks when other people do it, and I figure the only way you get better at something is if you kind of 
just keep trying. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, although I can't do this left-handed, but here we go. Let's just go in like that. There we go. Should be fine. You can kind of see, I mean, I could have done this on a five by seven card too. I never do five by seven cards, but I could have. And uh, I think it would have been just fine actually to have a little more space, but you just keep trying different things. That's the beauty. And you know, not everything you do the first time is going to look good. Not everything you do the fifth time is going to look good, right? But I feel like for me, I have gotten a little better at some of these things that I keep trying. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm I'm picking up glue. I better stop that. You can't. <laughs> Did I get it? Yeah. Okay, that's going to be fine. <laughs> I was getting a little a little carried away there. Okay. Now I almost wonder like what I, I think the contrast needs to exist up here with, mm, did I do a gold flower? I did. Like I almost feel like a little guy here might be nice or, or a nice little white flower here. Let's see what that looks like. Like if it's just tucked in like that and I could actually move it over a little more. I actually think that's really pretty. What do we think? Can I do that there? <laughs> you know what I'm going to do though? I'm going to cut some of it because I want it to go in a little more like that. Isn't that cute? Black flower? All right, let's see. Let's see. But here, the only reason I didn't want to do a black flower is I don't want I don't want it to blend with the with the with the mask. So I'm going to go I'm going to go with this one. You know, trust. Trust. Because, see, the, I want the hello to stand out. But now, if I go like that, look at how cute that is. Coming in and pressing. All right. Vicki, you know I love you. Okay, so there's that. I'm still going to do more. I'm not I'm not done yet, but let's take, let's take you. And let's pop this in. I know. <laughs> People, can they do this? I'm, I, I love the feedback because there are many times... Like I would have gone, I if, if left to my devices, I probably would have gone with a white shadow layer. Um, and I actually think black is much better in this instance. I think it's really pretty. Okay, checking comments. How are we doing out there? Good? All right. Uh, I hope those of you who are taking a lunch hour that you're enjoying your, your lunch today. Uh, I will be eating lunch after this. And then I will be going to the grocery store. Oh, I will use a black flower. Um, don't you, don't you worry. We're gonna get one in there, cause there needs to be more. Um, we're not, we're not done. We are not done <laughs> by a long shot. Black flowers are coming. Lunch. Um, <laughs> Vicky, we all listen. You know, my can I tell you a story about Dan the other day while I'm, while I'm doing this? So. We are remodeling our bathroom. Some of you may know this because you, you may have been following around on the social media and I may or may not have complained about this a few times. I'm just gonna pop that right there. It's getting close. Dan finished tiling. The tiling is done. The next step will be grout and then, listen to me, grout. Um, and then, see, I think a little white friend here would be really cute and then I can put something up there too. Um, and then the grout and then we have a bathroom. So we have this new uh, vanity for the bathroom. It's not it's not like the fanciest in the world. We got it off Wayfair. We did this all ourselves and mostly to save money, right? Because, well, <laughs> we're not made of money, okay? Anyway, it's, it's, it's fine. And if we move out of this house someday and nobody wants what we did, they can tear it all down. The people who we bought the house from, they did a really nice job, but we, it's a long story. Anyway, um, I'm still working. So I want to have, a, I think I want to have, someone said, get a black flower. I do need a black flower for up top. See, I didn't know this until, you know, you don't know this until you get up there. Anyway, I was telling Coleman the other day, because Coleman is um, living at home as he's finishing his last semester of college. And uh, I said out loud, Coleman, we're going to have the, uh, we're going to have a, the bathroom is going to be set up soon, and so if you, if you want a drawer in the uh, in the new bathroom, you know, help yourself. You can you can have a drawer, 
And Dan says, he's in the other room. And he says, who are you? You sound like the Queen of Sheba. I'm like, what? He says, you have every open space and every shelf. And you have a whole cabinet to yourself. But you're going to offer one up to Cole? Call me the Queen of Sheba. And it was really funny. <laughs> who are you? The Queen of Sheba? And I said... <laughs> I wanted to say, who are you, a 95-year-old codger from the old country? Queen of Sheba. Okay, I just I just about died on that one. Okay. Now, now I could do. I'm just I'm just playing here. I'm just gonna, you know, like what if I what if I took Queen of Sheba? Uh that's probably too big. Yeah, that's too much. See, here's the thing. It's called restraint. Queen of Sheba. That's me. Um, I could, no, I don't like that. I don't see, I think the black takes, it takes away from things. So what we have to figure out is where is the nice little friend? Oh, where did you go? Uh, I am. Oh, that's wonderful. Hey everyone. I don't know if you're just joining me, uh, but I'm just talking about being the queen of Sheba. According to my husband. See, I almost feel like I want to have a little flower there, like an extra little there. I don't know. The, the more I put things down, the more I want to take them off. Oh, I wanted to use this. He is very funny. Oh, what about, what about sliding this little pretty in here somehow? Like, like that. Wait, get in there. Do we, do we like that or is that just? Is that just turning into a hot mess? Small black flower between the white flower and the white leaf. Where's the white? Oh, up here? Oh, okay. I got you. Maybe like that? Like a little guy right there? Is that what we're thinking? A little guy up there. Um, I love this so much, but I don't know. So here's, here's the thing. When you start thinking about things like this, um, you don't want to take it all away. That's cute though, right? Up on top? Okay, okay. <laughs> Gonna put that in. And I have, okay, let's pick it up. Anyway, listen to me, the Queen of Sheba. I will tell you. I will tell you. Yeah, I don't know why more people are watching. Oh, that was weird. It just hopped up and it hopped away. You never know on YouTube, you know, sometimes there. I like that showing a little more. I'm gonna hold that in place. Black flower. There we go. Okay, that's cute up there. And it's kind of cute how it, um, it's just kind of, you know, kind of in like that. I don't know if it will stay. Um, all right, do we, gosh, do we like this little thing here or is that just too much? Huh, because let me, let me show you another option. See, that's where sometimes I think you want to have, uh, I, I feel like I need more little black flowers. Um, I think it's too much, but I do think another bit of black down here would be cute. So let's get another black flower. <laughs> and I'm gonna do another, it does, it does throw off the flow. Thank you for saying that. All right, I've got another idea. Hold tight. We are going to grab a little more tape. All right, thank you for that feedback because yeah, I think we're gonna need smaller black flowers. Plus we also have really tiny ones that are super cute. And I may work a few more of those in. Just give me a sec. I just got glue on my innards. Uh, but yeah, Queen of Sheba. But you know, and Dan, he's a funny guy. But there was a time in our relationship where I, I would have gotten really mad at him for saying something like that. Instead of how funny it was, they called me the Queen of Sheba. <laughs> That's what therapy does, friends. It reminds you, you don't have to get mad about everything. Okay, so I could do, I could do a little, a little black flower here. I could just, well, see now, hmm, hold on, hold on now. Um, little more black flowers. What if I took one of these guys? Let's see, what would that look like under here? You know, like just a little bit there, just playing. Just plain. These little guys are cute. Do they have centers? Oh, they kind of do, but they kind of don't. Um, I could put one over there. I don't like that though. Um, hold tight. Let's bring in this guy. Okay, come here. I'll look up in a minute. 
we're just about there. We're just about there. What about, what about that? I'm just trying not to touch too much of the black. <laughs> you, what do we think? Is that too much? I do think the little ones are cute, but maybe, uh, well, we'll see. It could do. I promise we're gonna have it at some point in time. We're gonna have one done. What about a little guy like that? No, that looks weird. Um, second flower black on the left. We like this. We could go a little higher. I mean, we could just tuck it under a little bit more, right? I mean, here's the thing. Um, beautiful just like it is. Bottom corner looks good, no more. See, I think you're right. I don't, what if I just did one more black flower that was small to balance out one, two, three? Um, is that possible to put, does that poke out? I don't think it does. Um, what if I just did, no, I don't like it. I think we're good. More between the O and the gold petal. Um, like like one in there, like kind of nestle one in. What about, hold on, what about that? What about just saying, we're gonna pick you up and we're gonna, we're gonna slide you in. What if I made that smaller? <laughs> I think we're good. You know what? Let's glue, let's glue these on and then let's, let's celebrate the joy of not knowing, but getting help. You know, here's the thing. Oopsie, gotta get that, gotta get that goopy glue off. I'm gonna go, you know what, Roberta? You gotta know when to hold them. <laughs> know when to fold them. You gotta know when to walk away. Know when to run. You never count your money. Sitting at the table. Time enough. You know what though, this guy I feel like does need a tiny uh, foam square, hold on. You know, it's not a it's not a good day unless you get a little Kenny Rogers, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna take a thin foam square like this. I'm gonna pop it here, and that way, when I place this in, it will have support that it needs. All right, it's gonna go. I'm gonna put it slightly under, but also right in between, like that. Okay. Um, yeah, that could have been on top. <laughs> not bad. So this is all glued down and I, I feel like this might be good. Should we add some bling? Okay. Here's the thing. Look at all the stuff that I have left over. Okay. This is, this is a ton of stuff. I mean, I could make more cards. I could play around. I could grab, I'll show you because I'm kind of obsessed with this right now. I'm going to get these out because I feel like it might. Let's just look. <laughs> Let's just take a look. I'm gonna do it on here, because sometimes I like to see the little teeny, teeny, tinies. I'll show you. Hold on here, here we go. 103, we're, we're <laughs> sounds like I'm a radio station. <laughs> 103 FM, Kathy Zilski in the morning. Um, I could do, hold on here, one. These little tiny babies I'm obsessed with. You'll see in a minute. It's like so cute. Uh, there and then over here hold on between the, oh we could do a little come here I can't pick you up so let's go here let's go see here's the thing though I kind of want it to have a little bit of that um, top and bottom you know I don't want it to be oh my gosh I can't pick this up hold on 50-50 chance that it's gonna flip nope there we go. All right, what if I said, what if I told you, we could put them on the flowers too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this could actually be more like this. Oh, hold on, I'll look up in a minute, I promise. I'm just never 100% sure until I get them placed and then I think, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it is cute, okay? How about we gotta come over here. We gotta make it make more sense. And that doesn't make sense. This one, 
I want it, I want it to be, well, maybe that one. All right, hold on. How about this guy? I think I just grabbed the exact same guy, okay? What if I did that? Then there's a little on the top and a little on the bottom. It's 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 just so empty. Um, <laughs> see, oh, Kathy, how about how about one up here? What if we did do three and three, three and three? So that way, there's just a little more lift over here. Like I, I like that down there, though. What do we think? <laughs> Should we do it? It's good either way. Not on the leaves. Oh, okay, all right. Well, one, two, and yeah. You know what, I, th I feel like I'm trying to make fetch happen and it's not, and so maybe, okay, give me, give me one more second because sometimes it is literally the matter of take it away, flip over. Oh my gosh, come on. There you go, okay, one there. On there off the leaves like that how about that <laughs> I think we're getting we're getting some uh, we're getting some we're getting some feedback you know and this is again is this kind of how I envisioned it would turn out I don't know I love this hello it might just be a little much for me too um, what if we just do it? I'll take a picture and then just know I tried. I tried my best. Okay, we're gonna do this little guy down here. Uh, a little glue and, boop. you know, boop. if you're overthinking like I'm overthinking right now, it's okay, it's okay. There is spatter though, Chris. You can't see it right now, but hopefully, Boop. You'll be able to see it in the photo. I'm going to move these in closer. Boop. I'll, I'll, I'll zoom in in just a second and you'll see Boop. that's the finished card project. So if I zoom in, we will see there is spatter all over the card. So it's going to have, oh, my light's not picking it up right now, but can you see that spatter? The shine will be there. Maybe it will show up in the photograph, but that is my finished card project. That didn't take long. And see, that's the thing. Sometimes, I'll tell you what, sometimes with cards like this, I wanted to try it. Is it my favorite card in all the land? Oh, now I'm upside down. Never mind. Uh, maybe not, but you know, it's not bad. But I do, I do like the idea of, oh, let's go back to the table cam, sorry. I do like the idea of black, white, and gold with florals. Now, I'm not the greatest floral or person um but you know it's it's not horrible it's better than horrible gina k i'm channeling you today so anyway that is my finished card project for today i just wanted to thank you for being here and you know here's the thing it's fun to play don't be afraid to play try something new if you have an idea you know what go for it i mean i may have learned a few things maybe <laughs> maybe not but i do have something fun to tell you and that is this. Number one, I'll take a picture of this. Number two, I will update the supplies and things that I mentioned and things like that. And I'll do that in about an hour. But I am working on, yeah, I did have fun, Reva. So that's all that matters. Um, I am working today on a new installment of something old, something borrowed and blue and new. And it's got a twist thanks to one of you out there who gave me a fantastic idea. I will save that for the premiere. Um, it's going to be either Friday at noon or Saturday at noon. Um, I've got to finish uh, the edit and get all the photos taken, but I'm really excited about it. And I think you will like it too. It's uh, I love the something old that I pulled out because I haven't used it in a really long time. So thank you so much. And yes, this is a new velvet shirt. It actually is convertible. You can put your sleeves on, but you know, you can pull your shoulder. No, 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 we're not, we're not doing that today. So thanks for being here. I will take a pretty picture that hopefully makes it look even cuter, <laughs> but I thank you for being here. I love the feedback. It's so much fun to go live with all of you. 
and I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you back here with another card project soon. Bye. Thanks so much for joining me today for my live stream. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you. So hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a few more videos you might be interested in checking out. Thanks for watching and have a great day.